days that when you're playing a team like this that's as good as they are rebounding the ball, and they are phenomenal at it. it it's a great rebounding league, but they are phenomenal at it with the way they follow up shots. There's really two games going on in every possession. There's the offensive game, whether it's full court or half court, and you're guarding them. And then the next game, and really the hardest game, is the rebound game. And so, that, and uh, we did a good job. I look at the numbers, we're even. But at the end of the day, the biggest story to me and why we weren't able to pull this out at the end was the 11 second chance points they got in the second half. Uh, we had a couple of untimely turnovers. Um, it was, we, we broke a couple of plays that weren't there. We didn't have a, a couple of our, we didn't execute a couple of things that we wanted. We executed some things very well. But even with all that being said, you know, we're missing some shots, they're missing some shots. We didn't, uh, we couldn't, we couldn't, couldn't guard the dunk, right? We struggled with guarding the dribble at times. That's why we try to switch. That's why we're getting in the zone. Uh, and at the end of the day, they crash through the glass and you've got to have numerous people in the glass at that point in time. And uh, that hurts, but I love our effort. Uh, I love their attitude. I love the way the last two days have been in practice. Uh, very confident going into this game. I, I would have been confident against anybody we played based on the way we've practiced. And we've had really good practices all year. But the last two days were a little bit different and we've got to learn how to figure out how to build on it. And, and, um, and move forward because uh, there's no question we're ready to play. We just couldn't finish it at the end. Questions? Are there any good questions, please? Anybody? Anybody? Go ahead. I know I asked you about uh, Christian Harrison yesterday. With decision to start him, was that <coughs> more on the lines of, of some, having somebody to guard Jamal Waters? Or what no, we don't put him out of immediate. No, it was because he, pla he plays extremely hard. It's because he is. Tremendously competitive, and we needed a jolt. We needed a jolt defensively and moving without the ball. And uh, you're going to give up some things offensively with shooting the ball, but you're going to gain some things definitely. And, and again, that's this program, um, no matter how long I'm the coach here, it is about coaching every guy every day. It doesn't matter if you're the leading scorer or a freshman that's playing very few minutes. It doesn't matter if you're a senior uh, that never gets in the game. You're going to get coached every day, and, and, and Christian responds to that. And it's, it's continued to develop, and a lot of it's confidence. He's confident he can go out there and do that. And again, we're mixing our defenses more and more. We're trying to do the things we can do to cover the lane up. Uh, but um, I played him, you know, obviously, different times, and I felt I felt with my instinct to, to start him, and I'm glad that I did. Go ahead, Mark. When you talk about a couple of good practices, I mean, do you walk off a of practice court those days thinking, okay, this is going to be a good matchup for us? We'll feel that or not? Sure. Oh, absolutely. And, and again, I'm not trying to just put it on these last two days. I, I've said this, and it's it's the bottom line. It's part of our growth process. If we played some of these games the way we practice, we'd have a much better record. Okay? We, we, we do not. I mean, we have very few. Now, like I say, we have 100%. Nobody has 100% great practice every day. That's not what I'm saying. But we practice well. We practice competitively. We get our heads down sometimes too much when things aren't going well in the game. You know, where that doesn't happen in practice. And so then, and then we lose a little bit of our cohesion in games. Um, we, we, we've practiced well all year, but I thought the last two days were definitely different for us. I thought even when we went into walkthrough situations at the end of a practice yesterday, and guys were just completely locked into it. And so that, that's what we've just got to continue to build on. But again, it's not like we just started practicing well. I'm not trying to say that. I'm trying to say that the two days that we had here the tremendous confidence uh, going into the game and that very much felt like the confidence would carry over. Question for Coach Green? Go ahead, Mike. Yeah, Coach, I think LSU's won, what, maybe 14 out of their last 15. What, what was the key, what was the approach to, to stay close against a team like that as, as well as they've been? Well, you got to do your best to not give them live ball turnovers because that's what hurt us the first time. And, and, and we were right in that game the first time. It was a great example. We got down because of the turnovers at LSU, and we got our head down, right? We're not realizing there's so much we can do to come back, and we did in that game. But I think uh, the biggest key is, is at, the, at the beginning and the end. You got to get back in transition, and then you got to close it off with the rebound. And um, um, we got second chance points, um, but their second chance points were timely in a close game like this. And uh, that's what their greatest strength is to me. Tremont does so many things well. Um, they, they've got a very skilled team. He's an excellent coach. Um, they're deep. You meet the guys, everybody he puts in, there's, there's, there's no drop off. When you're bringing Emmett Williams off the bench, I thought Emmett Williams had as much to do with the win over Kentucky as anything the other day. He scored eight straight points. He's just relentless. You know, people forget that was, from the time
top five players in America going into the summer of his senior year. I mean, he's just a tremendous player. And so they're, they're, they're deep in that way, even though they don't play a ton of guys. And you just, you can't have empty possessions with the glass. And uh, for the most part, we didn't. But uh, uh, the other thing is you can't overhelp. And, and that's the biggest thing, Mike, is, is in the half court, because Waters is such a good passer. You can't be in an overhelp situation where he can kick it out for three. So I thought we did better there. I may feel different when I watch the film. But to me, the biggest thing is the glass. You guys came out of the second half strong and built a five-point lead. Mm -hmm. What was that conversation like during halftime like, in the approach? Was there a change? No, 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 there was no change. No, I mean, we were right there close the whole way. So no, there was no change. It was a couple of adjustments where we were struggling in the zone, you know, where we, where we got hurt a couple times. When we're, in, when, we're, when we're in zone, we're staying with the ball, right? So they come up and set a screen at the top of the key or on the side, right? We're staying with the ball, all right? We're not putting two guys to defend one, so all of a sudden they make a quick pass. And we did that a couple times. So we had to get that cleaned up. You know, we had to get the middle cleaned up. We had to make sure we were uh, getting over a little bit better inside of the gap. So then offensively, we just wanted to keep moving. I reiterated it again. The more Ray and Nick move, the better we are. And we started off the half with, a, with an action like that. Do you see an extended role for, for Christian, or is this a matchup thing? Is, where does he fit in your life? It's wide open, Mark. I mean, it's wide open, as I told the team the other day, every day right now, when you're trying to, uh, when you're trying to find ways to win, okay? And when you're trying to, we owe it to them every day. This is not about, well, let's see what we got, and let's, let's build for the future. No, we're building right now, right? If I'm going to preach to them that, stay absolutely locked into the present, then that's exactly how we've got to coach him. So there, it, it certainly could I mean, guards like that, and he's aggressive. So no question about it, but I don't know. I mean, I, I make those decisions uh, rarely the day before, usually the day of, uh, on how we're going to do that. But I'm starting to put playing groups together more in practice, you know, which is helpful, and he's been a part of that. Any more questions? What are, what are the positives, and, and I guess I, I know you say it every game, but what are the real positives that you take out of this moving forward as you, the building blocks, I guess? Oh, like competing, it. competing, without question. Competing, not getting our head down, right? And, and, and continuing to come. Confidence is a really hard thing. There's not any team that doesn't go through bouts of it. Now, Tennessee may be way ahead of everybody because of the veterans and experience and understanding. Okay, sometimes you don't have the experience, but you've got to have the understanding. Okay, it's a long game. We can get through this. All right, we're, we're going to play fast, so I'm going to make a shot, right? When we start seeing ghosts in a game, misses, turnovers, things like that, it's going to affect something else inside of the game. And today we didn't do that as much. We, we, we grew through that in so many ways. And um, it, it, it's part of it for us. It's part of it, but I felt really good uh, with these guys, and there was, I thought our huddles, I thought all those things were really good today. Um, and we just really focused on basketball. We didn't focus on, hey, you're okay, it's a long game, get your head up, you know, we didn't do that. And I, I felt like that, that maturity that we needed to have was really important today. And I think we, uh, we changed defenses uh, fairly well, but we, we, we not only cut, but we drove the ball. We felt like we really needed to drive the ball in this game. And then what we have to recognize, okay, are they going to come off the guy in the corner because they don't think he can shoot? Well, we got to clear him. If they think he can shoot, then we might stay there. So, you know, we just got to kind of make those reads in the game. And I thought our guys were really good at responding quickly in the flow of the game when we were moving them around to create space. So, I could go on, but I mean, that's the, but that's not good for me. <laughs> so, uh, all right, thank you. Thank you.